Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more eyes, the Somnium Files. It's been a while since I played this, but, um, menu, menu is square. Uh, recapping? I mean, I have a vague idea of what happened because I saw, like, flashbacks show up when this was loading, but, um, Yokai, we synced in Seoul. We didn't really find anything except someone continuously stabbing Iris. Uh, and now we have to take her to places. Yeah. Um, I should turn my uh, phone on silent. Okay. Um, yeah. I remember we synced in... No, wait, we didn't sink in number 89, we synced in Seoul. But we interrogated number 89, and he knocked us out, and we have to go get him now. But where are we taking... Oh yeah, uh, Iris wants to go on a date with us, so... A really nice place, to the uh, Yakuza office building, a gangster bar, or to where the dragon is. Hey Neil, how you doing? Thanks for joining! I'm gonna take her to where the dragon is. To meet the dragon. Ooh, we're gonna meet the, the dragon. dragon? Like oh my gosh! Dragon? <gasps> Unicorn rainbow hearts! Oh my gosh, I love this! Freaking rainbows are so pretty! Also, thanks for the bits! Ah! <gasps> Puppies! Oh, I love little doggos! Oh, they're so cute! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh, I get it! Like a fantasy world with swords and <laughs> Yay, more and unicorn rainbow heart! Woohoo! I'm getting fired up! Thanks so much for all the bits, Neil! Ah, oh, and a corgi! Ah, oh, so cute! She didn't completely understand, but I didn't have time to care. I took Iris to the Kumakudas. Oh, that dragon! I thought it was a euphemism for something, but ugh. Oh wait, sorry, I got a text message. Ooh, look at the dragon! Is she talking about his face or the actual dragon statue? So cool! So this is a crime syndicate building, right? Yes. Yeah. Kumakura. She really wanted to meet you. You were trying to make me believe this was some kind of fantasy world? It is a fantasy world. No one really gets to come here. No. That's what you thought. Wow! Date lied to me! Wow, she really acts like a brat, huh? Date, you bastard! What? You made Tessa cry! Your face made her cry! <laughs> Mr. Save me! Throw this man into Tokyo Bay. Oh my gosh, no. Got it. I'll have him sleeping with the fishes. Uh, this is an interesting no. turn of events. I can hardly believe it. Wait, so is that really it? Do I... Momo. Nope. I held up my end of the deal. You sure did. You want to hear about Renju? Yes, please. Mr. Okiyori. Oh yeah, I forgot. He's still alive in this route, too. Uh, let's talk to Iris first. Um, I don't want to sincerely apologize. Introduce Moma. Oh, yeah. I haven't introduced this old man yet. I'm 24! 24? The heck? You sound like you're 40! Moma is lying. He is at least. Okay, right. yeah. Absolutely. Sorry for not introducing Oh, his myself. eyes got big. Like his pupils. That's creepy. My name is Moma Kumakura. I work for a prestigious advertising agency. We advertise violence. You run the Kumakura gang, right? You're like a mob boss. He's not like a mob boss, he is a mob boss. Uh, how did you know that? Is he stupid? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Oh, uh, sorry, my eyes are super itchy. No idea why that's happening right now. Ugh. Introduce Moma again? Moma may not look it, but he's a huge ASET fan. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'm a huge fan. You're a huge fan. Gambling. Gambling? 
ASAP. Oh my gosh. Worries. Uh, forget Fred ASAP. Now what does she say? ASAP, you bet. Oh my gosh, that face is creepy. Gross. Wow, my catchphrase. Thank you. <laughs> this this is kind of embarrassing. But sorry, Moma. I don't like gangsters. <gasps> That's prejudice. <gasps> <laughs> You're gonna have to leave your life of crime, Moma. Well, uh, I don't like gangsters either. Gangsters are awful. All those nasty Yakuza guys should drop dead, am I right? <laughs> You're talking about your dudes, dude. Um, about Nju. What happened to Mr. Okiura? I heard he escaped the hospital. So did I. But I don't know anything more than that. Please tell me. Why would Renju's escape from the hospital was strange? Three things stuck out to me. I laid out the facts. Mizuki was lured to the place where Shoko's body was found by a message sent from Renju's phone. Ah! One more unicorn rainbow heart! Ah! Thank you! So cute! I found Iris's body in Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Earlier today, Nanju fled with a prisoner escaping a life sentence, an assassin named Number 89. Hold up. What were you saying about Tessa's dead body? I found it. Oh, well. Date saw a parallel world with my dead body in it. A parallel world? Never heard of it? Oh, yeah, of course I am. Yeah, yeah, right. Parallel worlds and all that. You don't have shit. to play along with her, yeah. Moma. I don't understand it, but I suppose he does. Good, because I don't feel like explaining it. Ah. But why would Mr. Okira do that? Because he's dealing with some shady people. He could be a hostage or an accomplice. I think he's an accomplice. Hmm. Either way, I need to find him. I don't want to apologize to her, so let's talk with Muma. <laughs> um, that's an expensive looking ring. Why do you care? Can I have it? <laughs> Can I have it? What? Can I have the ring? Why would I give it to you? As a sign of our friendship. Hey, can I have the ring? Absolutely, of course you can. Here, take oh it. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 no. I, I can't give you this. It has someone's eyeball in it. You're so cheap. Come on, it's not like you're losing it. It's exactly like I'm losing it. Think of it as a gift. You're giving it away willingly. Aww. You guys are a good team. Like siblings. Ew, I don't want to be her sibling. Uh, where are your goons? They're out. Looking for Renju. Besides, I can't have them here seeing me like this. Like what? Good point. A fanboy? Uh, about their Renju tip. You said on the phone that you saw Renju. Yeah, I had all my people looking for him. So, tell me where he is. Mm, I could... I brought Iris here, okay? Hey, I held up my Exactly. Hand. I brought Iris like you asked. Dante, come here. I don't care. <laughs> Moma took me to the corner of the room. Dante, I don't quite know how to ask this, but... But? Can you ask Tessa if I can shake her hand, please? You can ask her yourself. Oh, that's it? Sure. Moma and I broke our huddle. Iris, could you do me a favor? A favor? He, uh, wants to see your boobs. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I didn't say that! <laughs> oh, sorry. What I meant was, he wants to shake your hand. Oh, a handshake. <laughs> sure. I would never show my boobs. Yeah, don't show your boobs. I just took Momo's hand gently and shook it. All the hearts! Thank you so much for all the bits tonight, life. Neil! You're so kind! Ah! The, and they're all so cute! So how about it? 
All right, here it goes. Renju was seen in two places. Hopefully not at the same time. First, Sunfish Pocket, the maid cafe. Second, Ikume Shrine. Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. Hmm. Got it, thanks. They're not that close to each other. No problem, bro. Really. Okay. Moma is sitting on the other side of the desk. I guess I do have to finish talking with Iris to move the story along. Gosh darn it! Sincerely apologize. Sorry to bring you here. It's okay. You don't have to be scared, Tessa. We're not thugs. We're just a gang. Yeah, that kind of implies that you're thugs. Not as contradictory as meatless beef. Haha, <laughs> meatless beef. The old boss was really violent. He ripped out Lady's eyeballs. He would take a cheese grater to someone's leg if they looked at him funny. But after I took over, we went crystal clean. His mouth and teeth are weird when Moma talks. It's like they're not crystal. connected. Methamphetamines. No, we don't do drugs. We don't deal with that stuff. We had to restructure the whole operation. Cut a lot of people off. Their throats. <laughs> no! Not like that! <laughs> Drugs! Their throats! Summarize for me. Anyway, Moma, take care of Iris for me. What? What? Wait! You can't leave me here with a gangster! You're leaving me here? You'll be safe with him. <laughs> Are you serious? Look at his face! That is mead? What about his face? Not to mention he runs a crime syndicate. See, that's the bigger issue. He runs a crime syndicate. What if he sells me to the highest bidder? He won't. He likes you too much. Tessa, I would never do that. I told you, we're clean now. Yeah, right. We all go home on time. We follow government regulations. We go home and kiss our wives. Oh, wait, we don't have wives. Wait, what about Shovel Forge? I hate I Shovel Forge. I to play with you. But you promised me a date! I brought you somewhere! D Dante! Is this true? You son of a bitch! <gasps> Language! <laughs> Did he just cock a gun at- Oh my gosh. I'm gonna ignore that. Good idea. Dante, you're gonna look for Mr. Okiura, right? Take me with you! Why? If you do, I'll tell you about last night. What did you do last night? Her late night visitor. Fine. Yay! Dante, don't ignore me! <laughs> Heck yeah, I'm ignoring you. You have a freaking shotgun! A clean gang? Wait, or is that a rifle? I don't know guns. I just know that guns are oh, bad. That's just a if you toy. shoot someone. Oh, just a toy! <laughs> Let's leave them alone for a while. Let's just slowly walk out and leave Iris here. We have two places to check. Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. I want to go to the warehouse too. Where you found my dead body. Stop adding stuff to the list, Something please. Bothering you? No, I'm just curious. Oh, and one more thing. No. Can we eat somewhere? Food sounds good. I haven't eaten in a while. Let me join! Oh, my chest hurts. I'm getting hard to breathe. Let me eat food with you guys. Map. Sunfish pocket! Oh my gosh, we're going to Matsushita Diner to eat food. Do they even make food there? I don't think so. Monday, Monday, Monday. Hey, it's Monday today too. Yuck, 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 yuck. I saw a familiar face as I entered. Better not be Ota. It was Mizuki. Okay, cool. Iris and I sat at Mizuki's table. Wow, this is surprising. What color trident is that? What's going on here? It looks super special. Why are you two together? Oh, well, it's. She wanted to go on a date with me. Forget it. Thanks for letting me stay last night. Oh, no trouble at all. Anytime. You can even live with me if you want. Don't live with her. 
<laughs> That's a great idea. No, it's not. Then you have to see Iris's face every day. That's terrible. The roommate I have right now really sucks. <sighs> this girl. Mermaid. Uh, X. Wait, I can still X-ray her. Why does she have anything else new in here? No, she doesn't. Then why can I X-ray her? Those are some nice hip bones. Okay. Uh, what is Renju here? I've heard that Renju was sighted here. When do you mean? When? I got the info a few minutes ago, but I don't know when he was seen. Should have asked that. Oh. Ringing any bells? Well, he hasn't come by today, but yesterday. But he yesterday? was on the run from the police. But I was here yesterday. It was after you came. It was after that. Yeah, of course. After you and Ota left. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Why was she you supposed to? And I don't have any way to contact you. Damn it. We just missed him. Uh, what was he doing here? He was looking for Iris. He was asking everyone where she was. Oops, I accidentally looking pressed that. Yeah. Did he give a reason? No, not in particular. He wanted to find her dead body! Iris, can you think of why he would be looking for you? No, not at all. Azuki? I don't know either. I don't know my father. We don't talk. Uh, anything else you can tell me about Nanju? Anything else? Well, he did seem really sick. Wasn't he like shot in the leg or something? He was pale and sweating a lot. Yeah, he was in the hospital for... No, he wasn't shot in the leg. He was in a car accident. It must have been because of the accident. Yeah. Perhaps. Um, what do you like in men? <laughs> well, a triple wart sea devil or an anacanthus barbatus. What? The heck are those? Wait, that's it? No follow-up question? Okay. About your relationship with Mizuki. Mizuki I hate when I'm in a car accident left. and then my leg gets shot because of it. <laughs> I know, right? Don't you hate it when that happens? Oh, that's so annoying. Also, hey, Regal, how you doing? Thanks for joining. She's really friendly with everyone. I like it here. Everyone treats me nice. Because you're the boss's daughter. Is it because you're the daughter of the owner? Ah. Uh, no, it's not like that. They really like me. For me. We're BFFs. She wields extraordinary power with that trident. Okiura family is really something That's else. why they're BFFs. She spends a lot of money here. Uh, the mermaid girl is standing there. <laughs> Neil, thanks again for the bits. Uh, Mizuki. Uh, what are you doing here? What are you gonna do? Scold me or something? Yes! How come you have an why awesome platinum trident? Why are you so angry? Yeah, why is she snapping at me? I'm not angry. In fact, I'm feeling good. Doesn't seem like it. Um, excuse me. But The mermaid took me to the corner of the store. Mizuki was crying earlier. Crying? Yes. We were trying to cheer her up. What was she crying what about? What happened to her mom was... Oh, her mom. And we thought she was having a hard time. She must have come here looking for company. That's probably why she stayed with Iris last night. She didn't want to be alone. And why is she so being so mean with me? Shoko's body is still under the jurisdiction of the police. There has not been a ceremony, nor has the body been cremated. The culprit has not been caught, and we cannot locate Renju. And on top of that, her roommate has abandoned her. I haven't abandoned her. I'm trying to I did not abandon her. figure out who killed her. In any case, Kinda solve the there case. are many ways you could calm Mizuki down. Mizuki is just trying to act strong. Please, try to understand. Ugh. I understand. About the Okiyota Fishery Warehouse. Why are you asking me about that? 
because your family's related to it. That company was made by my grandpa. But daddy has nothing to do with it. I don't know anything about the warehouse. That's only what the real killer would say. Bop, bop, bop. About the warehouse again. I thought I told you this already. Don't ask me the same questions over and over. But that dialogue option was still there. Dante, look. I'm sorry. Oh, she's lying. She's lying? Bum, bum, bum. She may just be excited or upset. About Nenju. The police asked me a bunch of questions. But I don't know where he is. Okay. Trident. Trident. What kind of trident does she have? I can't examine it. Psh, lame. Iris, do you know this mermaid? She's my friend from back when I worked here. What's her name? We would hang out outside of work too. What's her name? We go to haunted places and UFO sightings and stuff. Blow those boys away! Oh, their eye and hair colors are flipped. Blow those boys away! That's pretty cute. Yeah, blow those boys. Uh, away, away. Mizuki, uh, <laughs> you really shouldn't say that. More criminal minds, yes. More investigating. Also, KV, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Um, about your visitor last night. Iris, I still need to know. What were you doing Sunday at 2 a.m.? You haven't fulfilled your promise. I have! This is the date. I fulfilled my I'm promise. I'm spending time with you. I'm bringing you to places I'm going to. I told you. No info until the date is complete. You know you didn't say that. Don't you get it? This date isn't over yet. You never said when it's over. You just said if I take you with me. Oh my gosh. That Renju. Mr. Okira helped me when I was just starting out. You know how my mom is single? He really supported her. He even changed my diaper when I was a little baby. I got hired by London Escape all because of him. Iris used to stream all her own content. Like and she still and streams her and own content. But before we knew it, she went viral. Right, I heard about that. That's how she started getting offers, right? But because Iris's mom knows Renju, she decided to go with Lemniske. Tell me about the Mandalorians. <laughs> how many midichlori- How did the midichlorians get in your blood? But there's more to it than that. I thought you don't like Iris, now you two is on a date? Wow, just wow. Well. Yeah, I still don't like her, but she is like kind of blackmail- Not really blackmailing me, but she's like, Oh, hey, I have some info, so if you want to know what happened with me or who I dealt with, then take me on a date and I'll tell you all the info. I'm just like, freaking. There are other reasons. Daddy was totally taken in by her talent. What? Iris has talent? Her talent? Dancing, really. Her dancing is what got her into lemonade. I'm sorry, but Japanese people aren't that great at dancing. He knew Their choreography she isn't that she would be as good as Korean people. <laughs> But it's that. definitely a different style. Like, Japanese is more cute dancing, and Korean's more like, I'm trying to be sexy. And sometimes it doesn't work for Koreans, because it's like, you can't move your bodies well, and it just looks awkward. Daddy's not the type to give compliments. She's just arm burying you. Not blackmail? Oh, okay. Again with the blackmail? No excuses, just admit the truth. I know, right? Why won't she just tell me what she knows? <laughs> This is kind of embarrassing. I didn't know he thought of me that way. Oh yeah, like more like twisting your arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not doing it out of malicious intent, but just like, oh hey, like, you better listen to what I say. You like dancing, right? More than sleeping and eating. Uh. Well, maybe about the same as eating. Anyway, I've always loved moving my body, ever since I was a little girl. And you're fast, too. 
Yeah, I did a lot of track meets. She's athletic. Were you always the anchor? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Hey, wanna hear something cool? Not really. Iris is the goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology. She really? She's the messenger of the gods. She's really fast. No, that's Mercury. That's Hermes, not Iris. Rainbows being so fast to disappear was the source of the legend. Is there an Iris along with Hermes? You're as fast as your namesake then. You want to race? <laughs> sure. Yeah, race, Chance. run away, and I will just stay right here. Good idea. Um, Renju looks like the main protagonist brother from Zillia 2. Interesting. I don't, I don't know the characters in Zillia 2 yet. I don't want to be spoiled. Ah! But I do know that the main characters change because from the cover art, it looks like the main characters. The tall guy. You said his name was Ludga. In English, it's Ludger, Luger. And a little girl. Watch the trailer. I'll watch it after stream. Could you show me your dance? Right here? Hey. Oh, I wanna see too. You said you love dancing, so dance. Me too. I would also like to see that. Mm, I don't know. Dance for me! Come on, just show us. But Alright, I'll go set up. Set up what? Wait! Set up music? The mermaid didn't listen and hurried off. Jeez. Fine, if you insist. Yay! Iris, we're ready. She's ready! Ludga, right, Japanese, world? Lugger, English. Get yeah! Ready. See my dance! Invincible Rainbow Arrow! Hit it! Is this important to the story somehow? Is her dancing? Oh my gosh. Her mouth isn't moving. This is a lie! What? I think this is gonna get copyright content claimed on YouTube when I put this up. Or maybe this song isn't popular enough to get copyright claimed. Good job. Trailer shouldn't have any spoilers. Maybe it'll help hype you up, but it's fine. Dude, I still have to finish playing Mina's route and then June's route. The, and I wrote the, lyrics. the singing scene would be better in Japanese. I definitely agree. What the hell is going on? Yeah, I only wanted to see her dance. I didn't want to hear her sing either. You wrote the lyrics? Obviously, because you said fruit never expires. Who the heck writes that? So it holds a special place in my heart. Also, that song made no sense. I, was there a central theme? That's right. I forgot he wrote music. Yeah, he's really talented. I look up to him. He's done so much for me. I know I can rely on him more than anyone else. Yeah, rely on him to kill you. Um, just talk to you to summarize. Summarize for me. Unfortunately, we didn't find Renju here. But we discovered that he was looking for Iris. But why? Basically all that just to f figure out that Renju was looking for Iris. Everything else was unnecessary or filler. Let's get going. 
Yeah, you're right. Mapu! Ikube Shrine! Is this a mermaid cafe? It is a mermaid cafe. You know, like, maid cafe, but mermaids? <laughs> also, Web, how you doing? Thanks for joining! <laughs> Speechless. Hello, friend! Oh, no. You okay? She got dizzy. <laughs> it's okay. I just, uh... Missed a step there. There are no steps here. My brain herpes. It's acting up. <laughs> I'm going to die soon. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. She has something in her brain. Slowly. Killing her. Um, About this shrine. It's called Ikume Iribiko Isachi no Mikoto. Or sometimes Ikume Tenno or Ikume no Mikoto. What? There are legends about this place written in the old text. It's a shrine dedicated to the gods. Which the old ones? legend goes like this. One day, Ikume Iribiko sent one of his followers, Taji Momori, on an urgent quest. He needed to get some eyeballs. To find a mysterious, magical fruit. Called an eyeball. A fruit called Tokijiku no Kaku. It's said that eating it will grant you immortality. After many hardships, Taji Momori was able to find the fruit. The shrine is shiny McShrine face, or fancy McShrine face, or to the locals, Mr. Shriny, if you asked. <laughs> Too many names for that shrine, dude. When I see shrines, I think of Persona 4. But don't all of them have shrines? Persona 3 had. I guess the shrine was part of the playground. But Persona 4 was just like an actual shrine. Persona 5... Didn't have a shrine. Unless you went to Asakusa. Never finished 3? Ah, oh, 3 is my favorite. I do admit that in 3 the pacing can get a little slow though, and December lags so hard, but 3 is my favorite. But by the time he got back, Ikume Iribiko had died! Tajimomori mourned! He handed half of the fruit to the man's wife, and he left the other half on Ikume Iribiko's grave, then died on the spot. It is said that that fruit is still inside the shrine behind us. Really? The fruit of immortality. No, thank you. I would hate to be immortal. Yes. Uh, couldn't get into three too emo for me. It's not too emo. I mean, if you look at Persona 1 and 2, those are pretty, like, dark and emo too. Persona 4 really changed the tone of the whole Persona series, in my opinion. It was more like, oh, hey, we're kids, let's do some funky stuff. And then Persona 5 found more of a balance between 3 and 4, like, kind of more serious, but also, like, fun with events. But... I think 3 is my favorite because it really got me into the series. Immortality, huh? Not interested? No. No, not really. Let me die a, at a natural age. Immortality. Uh, what are you looking at? A flower over there. Where? Flower? You can't see it from here, can you? No. I know it's there because I've been to this shrine before. Hmm. Whatever you say. Uh, what is Iris looking at? I'm curious about the flower Iris is looking at. Okay, I guess I can't do it yet. Uh, your thoughts? It's nostalgic. This place is a memorable one for me. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone. Someone? I used to call him uncle. He was a thoughtful, reliable man. I it was him mom's old boyfriend. But one day, he just disappeared. She's talking about... Hitomi's lover. Um... Never played one or two either. I started off with Nocturne and then Daido then put... Nocturne is so good! I really like Nocturne too. Still need to play Daido, those, that is next on my list. And then Persona 4, uh... I didn't like how they have to shoot themselves to bring out the Persona. I thought that was cool. It's like, hey, bring out the mask inside you, like, kill your 
like false self and bring out your real one. I don't know. That was cool. Because uh, Persona 5 is kind of gross how they summon their personas. They have to rip the mask off their face. Persona 4's was the most normal one. Oh, it makes me sad as all? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess it could be weird for people who don't know the Persona series to be like, What? They shoot themselves in the heads? That's messed up. Uh, about this uncle. When you asked me why I became an idol, I wasn't being entirely truthful. I told you that it was because I wanted to become famous. But more specifically, it was for uncle. Really? I've been looking for him for six years. Oh. But I didn't find him anywhere. So you wanted I him to find you. To look. So instead of me finding him, I thought that he could find me instead. You think if you became famous, he'd contact you? Yeah. So that is why she became an idol. I mean, it's also been my dream since I was little. That's a part of it, too. So why do you use the name Asa? Shouldn't you use your real name? Because that's oh, no. what he called me. I don't me. have to. He was the one who came up with the name Aset. Yeah. He told me that if I ever became an idol, I should use that name. Why? Aset? What does that mean? I have a nephew who went through suicide and he was only 16. Depression. Oh my. Oh wait, he did went through depression. Oh my gosh. Ah, <sighs> depression freaking sucks. Thankfully, I only had mild depression. But dang, I like totally feel for people who go through depression. Ugh. That was when I was still in Texas. Uh, we need to have more facilities and resources available for mental health. It's just freaking sucks. About Nanju. Mr. Okura isn't here. I mean, of course he isn't. Yeah, in that case, then I can see how the Persona summoning method in Persona 3 would, like, turn you off. It's not like we came here right away. And it's not like you could turn those animations off either because it's on PlayStation 2. He's already they don't have that off. option. Too bad. It's fine, though. Just a reason why I couldn't get into 3. I'm totally understandable. It looks like there are no further clues here. It appears we've wasted our time. There's definitely more themes of um, death and life in Persona 3 than any other Persona games. Even in- wait, it's kind of there in 1, sort of there in 2. Yeah, the first three Persona games were pretty dark. What is Iris looking at? I'm curious about the flowers Iris is looking at. Well, I can't do anything about it. Iris is looking off in the distance. Monument? A stone monument. Wait! I saw it! I saw it! There was flower. Uh... Night vision. Oh, she's looking at the winter iris. Is she not? An iris. More specifically, a winter iris. This is the same flower that was on display at Iris' house. Now I could probably talk to her about it. You're looking at a winter iris, aren't you? Yeah. How did you know? I'm a genius. It's the same kind that's at my house. I told you about what it means, right? Good news and hope. Iris is also a part of the eye. And the Greek goddess of rainbows. A messenger goddess. I told you at Sunfish Pocket, right? That's why the flower means good news and hope. Summarize for me. Date, we have no time to waste. We should get moving. Got it. Well then, why do I need the summarize for me option? Cold storage warehouse. I saw it. I'm sure. Your corpse, Iris. Right here. I saw it too. But I'm here now. Maybe I'm a ghost. You don't look like a floating sheet. You have legs. But maybe they're not legs. Maybe they're my boobs. What? Ew, your boobs touch the ground then? That's gross. <laughs> I tried to picture Iris's breath swaying down there like that. Oh, gross. 
And then I decided not to. Didn't you say that you saved Because me she's only dream? 18, and that's creepy. What did you mean by that? I told you that I'm with an organization called Abyss, right? Yeah, you told me two days ago. We find clues in the minds of suspects and witnesses. We enter what we call Somnium, a dream world projected by their subconscious. That's what the entire organization is about. How do you even do that? We have a machine that we call the Sync Machine. What is that? It's a sync machine. <laughs> That's not an explanation. It just syncs up our minds. Tell me how it works. Well, um, I can explain, but it will require a bit of background to understand. And we don't have the time. Background? And I don't want to spend that much time with you. Uh. So who's the culprit? Is this New Game Plus? Uh, no, I haven't even finished all the routes of the game yet. Like, um, if you look at my flowchart. Load flowchart? Okay. So I f got two endings. One of them was the Ota ending, and one of them was the Mizuki ending. Or is like, yeah. And then I started to go off of this green path, but it's blocked. And they're like, oh, you need to uncover more information before you can continue this one. So I started going down this blue one, and now I don't know if this branches off again. Or if this is the only one path here. So I don't know who the real killer is. Boobs. 18 is still legal. Yeah, but she's 18 and he's 30. That's a 12 year difference. At this age? Oh, that's creepy, dude. At least I think that's creepy. I don't think there's anything new here. Okay, fine. Isn't that creepy? I don't know. I don't want a person 12 years older than me to be hitting on me. Ugh. That's a big age gap. No can do. I know, right? Not at this stage in life. Ugh. As a 24-year-old, I would totally date an 18-year-old. Yeah, but that's only a six-year difference. Not 12. Uh, do you know about the BBB? I've heard of it. What's the BBB? The blood brain barrier, right? Inside the school, Better there's business an bureau? army of little teeny tiny soldiers that surround the brain. Big bouncy balls. They protect the brain from bad stuff in the blood, right? Bears being bears. That's almost it. Bros being yeah. bros. The blood brain barrier describes the architecture of the micro vessels of the brain. It is a kind of shield that protects the brain. To get through, an object must be no larger than 0.4 nanometers. That's tiny. Objects too large to slip through the barrier cannot physically access the brain. I haven't heard of Bebebe, -be -be, but I've heard of the Bobobo. -bo -bo. Isn't there- wasn't there an anime called Bobobobobobobo -bo 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 or something? Do you know about nanotechnology? Nanotech? Yeah! Technology related to really small things. Like really teeny tiny things and when they make the machine yes best anime ever i've never actually watched it i've only seen commercials for it on tv but i never got around to watching it they're called nano machines i heard they use them a lot for medical and tech fields some of the cutting edge nano machines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses they can even cure cancer and they go beep 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 that's what mom said well i don't know if it was like beep beep or who cares about the sound? But anyway, nanotechnology costs tons of money. Only a few people can even afford it. My college professor said only the richest of the rich have nanotechnology. But he's pretty liberal, so... What does that have to do with anything? Largely accurate. Nano is a prefix meaning 10 to the negative ninth power. Miyuki Sawashita voiced the baby? Whoa, really? Hmm, did not know. If you like complete nonsense, ah, okay. A well, it depends on what kind of nonsense. Like, Nichijo, I freaking love that. And that is, like, pretty nonsensical. But, um... What's an another nonsense thing? Like, Furikuri? That's also nonsensical, but I hate that. <laughs> oh, Neil, thanks so much again for the bit! For the rainbow horse! Rainbow unicorn! So freaking cute! Never finished it though? Uh, I see, I see. 
The sink machine uses machines approximately 2.16 nanometers long. Viruses are on average 20 to 970 nanometers. So sink nanomachines are far smaller than that. This allows them to access neural circuitry. Is there a reason why we have to know this? During a sink, the nanomachines are used to write in the sinker's data. Do you know about the Wadget system? I guess not. No, I know what it is. It's the core programming behind AI, right? That's right. What's wrong? What? Are you an AI? You're shivering. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Did her real body die and now this is just like a robot? To borrow Pewter's explanation, with the advent of the Wadget system, we can extract the data of the human It's sort of like system. they're in the middle of a fight and then they will be having a tea party in the middle of the fight for no reason. Mm, I guess this I'll have to see how they execute the it. Which achieves the sink. Because it sounds like a little bit of what- no, Nichido doesn't really do that. Hmm. I'll have a look-see. Here's how sync works. Okay, you have the basics down. Let me explain how syncing works. Why are we talking about syncing in a freaking freezing warehouse? Sinkers like me equip the sync gear and use it to access the subject's brain. Inside the helmet are nano cables. And on the tip of each of these cables is a special nano machine. But the machine can't reach the brain through blood alone. Do you know why? The BBB soldiers say go away and push them back? Well, yeah, kind of. But for the sink to work, we have to get the nano machines into the brain itself. How do we do that? Drill a hole in the skull? Give them medicine. No. In Shovel Forge, you can use a pickaxe and. <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with tools. We don't have to open a hole. Skulls already have holes in them. One of those holes is the optic canal, which is a nerve canal located behind the eyes. The nano cables of the sink gear go through your eyes. Ew, gross! Then go to the back of your eye socket. Then through the optic canal to the sea. Ew! The sea? The sea of brain cells, anyway. I don't That's want things going in my eye. It's only a chunk of protein. Here's how sync works again. Once the nano cables arrive at their destination, they can begin the sync process. They slide into the brain like roots of a tree. And on the tip of each cable, the nano machine sends and receives data. Again. Is there a reason we have to know the, the specific system. technical details of how a sink works? And that's how the sinker and the subject exchange information. Exchange? Think of it this way. The human brain has a max capacity of one psyche, one consciousness. Multiple instances of consciousness inside one brain can cause a total collapse of higher brain functions. You know how a car only has one steering wheel? If there were two, there would be accidents all over the place. Well, don't some planes have two control sticks? Okay, eh, maybe it wasn't the best metaphor. What I'm trying to say is that the human body can only hold one person. If you try to have two people inside one brain, it will break. I see. Sorry, I was really interested in that conversation because they started to make sense of how things worked, but I'm just like, do I have to pay attention to this to answer something later? Like, what? Um... It's sort of like- wait, wait, I read that. Also, isn't this like government information? Yeah, I don't know why he's telling her all of this when the organization he's part of, Abyss, was supposed to be a secret. This whole information thing like, hey, we're gonna sink into your mind. Like, that should be secret. Oh, Date, why are you telling her all of this? There's no way Lily could have a robot. Uh, Aiba would tell right away. Hmm... Mm, would she be able to- oh yeah, she would be able to tell. She'd be like, x-ray her. Um, I like Rose's way of thinking. Who's Rose? Details, details. Ugh. But are these details important? Because of this, the sinker's data goes inside the subject's brain. And the only thing inside the subject's mind at the time of the sink are their memories. Like a house with no one inside. We sinkers break into the house, look for clues, and leave. All within six minutes. There's a time limit? Yes, or else the house will collapse on our heads. The neural circuits would become too deeply entwined with one another. 
Mind battle, go! To put it simply, the sinker would be trapped inside the subject's house. Summarize. Thank you for explaining it. I don't completely understand how sync works, but still. Just don't tell anyone. This is extremely confidential. And yet you told her. It's okay, I won't. Date, tell me this. Hmm? Who did you sync with yesterday? Didn't I show you his picture? Congressman So Sejima. So that's why you know so much about him. But you've never met him, right? I haven't, I swear. Summarize. Hey, Date. You saw my corpse here, right? I did. I'm sure of it. And in so stream, you saved me from getting killed. Yeah. And then somehow, I resurrected. Yeah. But if you tell me what you were doing at 2 a.m. last night, then I don't mm. have to think that I saved your life. Date, that means you're... Achoo! Date, is the cold too much for Iris? Yeah, I'm freezing too. Iris, let's get out of here for now. Roger that! Thanks for explaining it. I'm an idol with 3 million followers. I've been streaming this the whole entire time. <laughs> so who could I possibly tell? Why do we have to tell all this information to Carnation anyways? Oh, you're just calling her different flower names. Ha 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 ha. I get it now. Yeah, I see, I don't know why he's telling her. It's not like she held a gun to his head and was like, tell me everything you know. Oh, that's why I keep wondering, why is this important? There has to be some kind of payoff. I'm so hungry. T Tessa? Why are you here? Why are we here? I told Date I was hungry, so... Why couldn't we just eat at Mer Sunfish Cafe with the mermaids? I've always wanted to eat here. I didn't. I'll have my usual, Ota. Y yes, right away. I'm calling her the wrong name. Ha <laughs> ha. Ota flew into the kitchen. Iris watched him go and took a seat. Mm, let's talk with her about your resurrection. Iris, about your coming back to life. Hold it! What do you mean coming back to life? Shut uh... up, Ota. Stop eavesdropping. I decided to tell Ota about Iris's resurrection. Why is Date telling everyone everything now? Like, dude! It's an investigation! A Shut up! Where I'm still alive. Tessa died? Yep. What's your usual? I'm like right. Date, shut your damn mouth! You're the worst detective! I know! He's the worst! Why is Ota a beta male cuck? Because he's lame? Ota's omelet rice is so good it gives me stomach cramps. Because he's not a decent person? Because he's a jerk? Is that a compliment? <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Well, Ota appears to have taken it as a compliment. You've been here before? Why am I asking her yeah, this? Of course I know she's been here. Have you met Ota's mother, Mayumi? Yeah, but... I don't think she likes me. Of course she doesn't. That's not true! It's so true, Ota. You're so dumb. Mom is just jealous of how pretty you are, Tessa. That means she doesn't like her. Ota, Mom, you dumb? Reassuring. Whether out of jealousy or otherwise, she still doesn't like Iris. <sighs> Ota, you're so dumb. Where's your mom? She's in the living room. I think she's watching TV. How about you? What are you doing here? I was just... Doing some meditation. Lying on the ground. Yeah, whatever. Stop lying. He means sleeping. <laughs> Date, why are you with Tessa? Why do you care? <laughs> We're on a date! <laughs> we are. Not Shovel Forge. <laughs> on a date. Oh, a date. Huh. What? A date? A date? I'm on an investigation, and she wouldn't let me go. Date, I have some delicious fugu eggs. I promise they're not poisoned. Would you like some? Hey, Ulta, if you had any game, you'd be on a date with Iris. No, thanks. I'm Don't fine. be jealous. 
Besides, I don't want to be on this date anyway. You're good at cooking, huh? Yeah. Here's my pin number and my social security. My dad told Here's me how much money little. is in my savings account right now. You're making me something too, right? Here's my credit card numbers. Sure. Here's my birth my certificate. Treat, Here's all the passwords to all of my accounts online. Freaking doctor. Where's Renju? You're still looking for him? It's all for the investigation. I don't know. Well, like I told you before, I don't know. Well, then you're useless, Ulta. Is there anything I'm supposed to have to talk with Iris again? About the parallel world. Hey, can you tell me about this parallel world idea in more detail? Oh, sure. How should I explain this? Well... Um... Oh, I know. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. If we tie, nothing happens. We just shake hands. If I win, you have to give me something. A slap on the face. What if I win? I'll do anything. A s slap yourself on the face. A anything? Mm-hmm. Anything. Date, your heart rate is rapidly increasing. Oh my gosh, Date, what are you thinking? Why exactly is that? We all know about the many worlds theory. Uh-huh, I'm a 999 pro, okay? All right, let's do this. I don't need this okay, lesson again. Gross. <laughs> One, two, three, shoot! Ah, what should I throw out? Most people throw out scissors, so rock. Shoot! Damn it! A tie. The most boring result. Well, we agreed on the rules. Let's shake hands. Shaky, shaky. <gasps> oh my gosh, he touched her hand! I shook hands with Iris. We just played rock, paper, scissors, right? We tied and shook hands. But in a parallel world, one of us won, and we didn't shake hands. But in a different timeline, maybe I got a reward from you. Or maybe you could have seen me naked or something. Why did I choose rock? <laughs> what exactly were you going to make me do? <laughs> so those timelines are what I'd call a parallel I wonder what world. happens if... Go back? But I don't have a save file. We have to go back. <laughs> so you think I jumped from a world in which you were dead to this one where you're alive? Yeah, I don't think... I can't go back. I didn't make a save file. Whoopsies. That's what I think. Huh. Otherwise, we have to see Parallel everything world, all huh? over again. I can't believe it, but... Sure you can. Parallel worlds exist. Do you know about the Mandela effect? Or the Booba Kiki effect? I know the Mandela effects, but not Booba Kiki. Or the 100 million balls. If I explain that, would you believe me? 100 million balls? What? Sounds really interesting, Tessa. Hey, stop listening to our conversation. I know some urban legends like that. The spatial temporal man, and the lost friend, and the story of two sisters. Man hook, car hand, door hook, car. <laughs> That's scary story. I've heard people talking about it. About what? Uh, the Booba Kiki effects. Date, look at this picture. Iris pulled up a picture on her phone. There's a famous experiment regarding this picture. You show this image to people around the world and ask a question. Oh, which one matches Booba? Which one matches Kiki? Which one is Booba? And which one is Kiki? And everyone says Booba's the curvy one and Kiki's the sharp one. Believe it or not, 98% of people asked have the same answer. The rounder one is Booba, and the jagged one is Kiki. Isn't that weird? It's because the Kiki sound is very hard and like very... So In that's why words, they do the pointy one. Everyone thinks that Booba is a certain way, and Kiki is the other. It applies universally across languages and cultures. It's like something ingrained inside all humans. Hmm. Wait, I can talk more. Restart the game? Heck no! Wait, how about if I do this? Um, menu. Save. Uh, I wonder if there's an autosave somewhere. But let's save. 
Whoa. Let's save here. Okay. Um, let's try going back to the top menu. I'll see if there is um, where my autosave was. Matsushita Diner. Hopefully it doesn't start. <laughs> Moma and his rifle. I'm head out early. Okay, thanks, Web. Thanks for joining. Have a good night. Okay, we're at the start of the Matsushita Diner. Good thing autosave was right here. Ah, I'm so hungry. Skip, 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 skip. Test. Why are you? Oh damn it! I can't skip. I've always. Because technically, we never saw this. You're gonna miss Lily naked. <laughs> um. Okay, I just have to like. What you... uh, I just have to get through all of this dialogue. Um, you've been here before. Yeah, I, have you... yeah, I don't. That's not mom. Not well. Uh, what's your usual? I'm like. Oh, does all... Is that... <laughs> Well. Okay, talk with Ota. No, I don't want to talk to the counter. Ota, where's Renju? This for investigation. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, you're good at cooking, huh? Yeah, my dad. You're making sure. Uh, where's your mom? In the living room, Should watching I TV. Date. We're on a date. Not. Oh, huh. A date. I'm. Dot. Nothing. Okay, and then I had to talk with uh Tessa again about the parallel world. Hey. Oh, how? Well, huh? Okay. Oh, um, I know. Okay, now I'll make another save file here. So I don't have to go through all that dialogue again. Okay. Saving a different save slot than my original. And. Please wait. Okay. Let's, pl Rock Let's play yeah, Rock, Paper, just Scissors. I'll do that. Mm. Why exactly? All right, let's do this. Actually, I'm going to save right here because that was more dialogue to go through. So save again. So last time we picked rock. This time I'll do paper. Overwrite the save data. Yes, please. Run a load. Okay. Ooh. Oh, my PS4 froze for a second. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go. One, two, three, shoot! What should I throw out? Oh no! Shoot! I let out scissors. No! Yay! I won! Well, let's see what happens when she wins. Oh no 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 no! no. You see, this this looks like scissors, but it's actually. <laughs> I'm sorry, I went too fast. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. No! Why did I throw out scissors? Why? You're really not <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna reload and pick so paper. I, get my prize. I don't have any money. I don't want money. It's not money I'm after. Instead, give me a kiss. Yeah. Can you pet my head? Oh. And no. say Iris is a cutie cutie? Oh no. The cutest person in the whole wide world? A cutie angel? Why did I win? I mean, why did I lose? Fine. Iris is a cutie cutie. No, no, no! <laughs> Put your heart into it! Iris is a cutie cutie, the cutest person in the whole wide world. A cutie I changed angel. my mind. This is the best timeline. <laughs> I repeated the whole thing while petting Iris on the head. <laughs> we just played rock, paper, scissors, right? Okay, um... And you. Uh, should I save this or no? You know what? Where's the harm in saving? I'll save in a different slot. So the top slot is neutral. 
This one is I lost. And then I'm gonna load the one where I didn't play yet. And I'll win. Okay. Back. Back to top menu. Nah. No, now I want to see what he asks for if he wins. Those were words that you said. They were indeed. Okay, okay. We're gonna put out paper. We're gonna put out paper. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, shoot. How come I have the skip option now? What the heck? We're gonna let out paper. Shoot. I won. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I'm so freaking excited. Dante, calm down. You're going to have a blood vessel. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Glad I made a promise. What do you want me to do? Uh, um, <laughs> if it's no trouble, I want to see your... Your feet! <laughs> see what? Let, let me see. See. Let me see your toes! <laughs> I will kill you if you say it. <laughs> see. Uh, seal. I, I meant seal. Seal? Not the smoothest recovery. I get it. You want to see me imitate a seal. What? No, no, Iris, please. Okay, well, here it goes, I guess. Tessa, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. We just played rock, paper, scissors, right? <laughs> yes. No! I really wanted him to say, I want to see your feet or your belly button or your elbow <laughs> or your earlobe. <laughs> just random parts of the body that no one really wants to see. <laughs> this is the worst timeline. <laughs> um. I won't. You won, and you made me be a seal for some reason. <laughs> but in a different timeline, maybe we tied. Or maybe I got a prize from you. If I had chosen rock or paper... So those timelines are what I'd call a parallel world. So you think I jumped from a world in which you were dead to this one where you're alive? That's what I think. Huh. Parallel world, huh? I can't believe it, but... Sure you can. Parallel world. I believe exist. it. So I've experienced it you know in the nonary the game. Or the Booba Kiki effect? Yes, or I do. The 100 million balls. If I explain that, would you believe me? I'll just keep Sounds going with really this route. interesting, Tessa. I know some urban legends like that. The spatial I would have settled for her feet. I know, right? The lost friend. Show me a feet. The story of two sisters. Show me a feet. I've heard people talking about it. I will skip through the Booba Kiki effect because we heard about it previously. Okay, but everything else I will pay attention to. Uh, Booba Kiki effect again? Like worshipping the sun and the sea. Or thinking that the mother is soft and the father is jagged. Regardless of your culture or background, you probably think this way. It's what Jung called the collective unconscious. There exists a second psychic system of a collective, universal, and impersonal nature, which is identical in all individuals. That's what Yoon said about it. Think of it like bamboo. Hmm? Bamboo stalks look like individual plants since they're separated, but underground, they're all connected. Human psyches might be like that too, connected at a subconscious level. That's... A parallel world? Yeah! And how you does she know about dream, all right? this? And dreams are all about our subconscious minds. So if you follow the roots... You get to another bamboo stalk. She knows a lot about conspiracy theories. Yeah, something like that. Or just theories in general. That's why Rule 34 exists. What's Rule 34? 
the Mandela effect. I know the Mandela Do you effect. Know Nelson Mandela? Everyone thought he was dead, but he was still alive. Well, yeah. The former president of South Africa. He helped abolish apartheid. He died in 2013, but a strange thing happened. When the news broke, people all over the world thought, didn't Mandela die in prison in 1980? That's the Mandela effect. It's when your memory and history have discrepancies. The Mandela effect. There are lots of examples. Like the name of this kid's book with the bears having different spellings. The Berenstein Bears. Or people remembering that Kennedy was assassinated in a four-seat car. Wasn't he? Whoa, now I need to look this up. Kennedy assassination. Kennedy assassination car. It was a six-seater. Oh. But in our world, he was in a six-seat car. Huh. I thought it was a four-seater too. Or that electric mouse from that video game. You probably remember the tip of its tail being black. Are you talking about Pikachu? No, it's the base of his tail that's black. It wasn't? Nope. It's all yellow. No! The base of his tail is yellow! The design didn't change. No! Pikachu tail. No, the base of it's yellow. Yeah! See? The base of it's brown. Liar. Oh. Irish, you lying. You don't know what rule 34 is? No. I only know what catch 22 is. Lines from movies, company logos, historical events, and little things. Yeah, like the famous line from Star Wars, like where he says, Luke, I am your father. He never actually says that. He's like, you search your feelings, you know it to be true. The Mandela effect is everywhere. Why do you think that is? Because those memories are from parallel worlds? That would explain it, I guess. 100 million balls. Oops. This world is full of really interesting stuff. But you know the most interesting thing of all? No, what? That humans exist at all. The universe developed in a very particular way to get here. If things were even slightly different, well, the galaxies and solar system and all of that might not have existed at all. And that means humans would never be born. And even if everything happened exactly like that, the probability of human oh, yeah, life because if Earth's um, axis, if their path around the sun was even a little bit shifted, then it can't sustain life. And yet, or supposedly. We are. That's what they say. 100 million balls. But what does it have to do with 100 million Imagine balls? Imagine a box full of ping pong balls. Like, would you be able oh, to shoot. pick out the one? I accidentally pressed X. Oops. Would you be able to pick out the one? No. Not likely. But what if there were 100 million of you? Well, then one of us would definitely pick up the one. Exactly! The birth of humanity is so improbable that it's basically a miracle. But if there were multiple universes... Then it wouldn't be strange that at least one of them had humans in it. Mm. She is describing the anthropic principle. I may have underestimated her intelligence. Me too. Um, I think Ota will tell me about the other ones. Yeah, the two sisters. So, there's this girl. Let's call her B. She's practicing piano in her room. But then Sister A hurts herself, but Sister B can feel the pain. And her little sister is watching TV in the same room. Oh, never mind. B asks her to turn the TV volume down so she can hear her piano playing, you know? So B goes back to practicing, playing a little bit. But her sister doesn't turn the volume down. She's not listening at all. So B turns around to scold her. But Sister she A was is really deaf. Gonna let her sister have it. But she's gone. She's nowhere to be seen. She thinks, huh, I wonder where she went. But then B hears her sister at the door. I'm home. B runs to the front door and sees her sister and her parents standing there. So B asks, when did you go outside? But her mom says, What are you talking about? She went shopping with me. B is really confused by all of this, of course. I'm confused by all of this. She asks her little sister about it, and she learns that her favorite TV show was on. 
and before she went shopping with her mom, she was deciding whether or not she wanted to stay and watch it or not. So depending on her decision, a parallel world was made. What? That's stupid. Yeah. And what B saw might have been from the world where her sister stayed behind. See, at least Iris's theories are like, hey, we actually experienced this in our world, but Ota's thing was like stupid. Iris is awesome. No, she's not. Also, hey, Vaka, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Um, anything else? I know a ton of stories like this. Your stories suck. Like being suddenly transported one year into the future. And there's a missing persons report out for you. No, that doesn't happen. You look down at your phone, but you realize that it's not yours. It's not the one you remember having. You look through the contacts, and it's filled with names you don't recognize. Sounds scary. There's more, too. See, his theories sound more like, oh, let this can like happen this in a video where game world. Japanese, but they're speaking a completely different language. And all the signs and magazines and stuff have different letters. And it's not like Korea or China. It's the Japan we know, but the language is different. That's a prime example of a parallel world. What? No, it's not. The lost friend. There's this kid, A. He's in elementary school. You think Ota's was stupid? Do you remember the snail? Now that was stupid. I don't remember the snail. What was the snail? Dandelion is the best. She was just naked. No, she was not. <laughs> Zero time dilemma? No, I still don't remember the snail. Uh, now I have to look it up. Zero time dilemma snail. Zero time dilemma snail. Snail! Uh... Wait, what? Oh, it's a whole big thing. Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> the, the, the jogger and the snail. Yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> the snail caused her to switch paths. Uh... I can't believe you remember that. <laughs> Well, A had this close friend named Suzuki. One day, after school, they're walking home together. A turns around to tell Suzuki a joke, and Suzuki is laughing his butt off. And he's laughing and laughing, and he laughs so hard that his eyes fall out of their sockets. Gross. What? Well, they were hanging down out of his eye sockets. The nerves were still connected, but... A is, of course, in shock and doesn't know what to do. Suzuki just takes his eyeballs and jams them back into his eye sockets and keeps walking like nothing happened. Okay, Ota's stories are definitely more fantastical. How could I not? It was so dumb. I didn't remember because I don't want to remember Zero Time Dilemma. I like Virtue's last reward the best. Ugh. So a asks him about it. Like, hey, are you okay? Your eyes fell out. And he's just like, what the hell are you talking about? A is really concerned for his friend, you know? What you talking about, Willis? But Suzuki just says, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, okay. He doesn't say anything about it. And by now, A is really curious. But he's not getting any answers. So they just part ways and go home. The story only gets weirder from here. The next day, A goes to school, and Suzuki's not there. Hey, Junpei's believe it or asks his teacher don't. about it. Hey, where's Suzuki today? And the teacher says, There is no Suzuki. Suzuki? Who's that? There's no Suzuki in this class. Hey says, What are you talking about? And he goes and asks all of his classmates about Suzuki. They all say the same thing. I don't know him. There's no Suzuki in this class. So that kid must have jumped into a parallel world without Suzuki. That's what I think. Hmm, the lost friend? Couldn't Suzuki just be an imaginary friend or something? No, 
A was really serious about remembering Suzuki. It is weird. And there's no way you can pop your eyeballs back in like that. Well, not necessarily. There's such a thing as a dislocated eye. It actually isn't too hard to put your eye back in if it falls out. Oof. Ota is correct. Dislocated eyes are easy to replace in their sockets. Gross. As long as none of the nerves or blood vessels were damaged, there are usually no lasting negative effects either. But that doesn't prove this Suzuki exists. Well, I guess not, but... Um, spatial temporal man. Yeah, temporal it's man. sort of Whoops. like a common experience. A lot of people have experienced waking up in an uninhabited world they've never seen before. And most of them describe seeing the same person. The spatial temporal man. He's the killer! He's supposed to be an ordinary old man wearing work clothes. The spatial temporal man guides people back to the real world. He tells them, this world is not for you, or something. I'd like to meet him someday. I wouldn't. It's freaking creepy. What about others? So, this elementary school kid? Let's call him C. He goes to school and there's a bunch of things on the floor. Postcards, towels, a coffee cup, rice bowls, a sink, lots of stuff. A sink is on the floor? But C realized that those were all things from his own house. How did they get to the classroom? No one knows. It's not like anyone did it on purpose or there was a thief or anything. Maybe something happened that made two parallel worlds fuse. Yeah, hmm? maybe. Summarize for me. When did you two get so knowledgeable? Oh, I don't know. Now they're actually helping me instead of trying to like tase me or knock me out Tessa in this world. always worlds. writing about this stuff on the internet. Uh. That's why I decided to research it too. That's how I learned all this stuff. Oh, hey, I know about conspiracies and secret societies too. I find that stuff fascinating. Oh, thank you. If you want, we could talk about those. No. Maybe next time. Now, where's that omelet rice? It got cold because Ota wasn't cooking. Done. No, what if Ota uh, poisons me now and they knock me out? Ota's stories are dumb. Yeah. His definitely seemed more fantastical to match the theme of the game. Iris's had more real life application because it actually happens to people right now. Ota brought the dish over. He laid out an omelette rice in front of me and Iris. Oh, I hate saying it omelette rice. I have to say omelette rice. Iris grabbed her spoon with a huge smile on her face. And then she died. Bon appetit! She picked up a spoonful. No, actually, she tried to pick up a spoonful. Is she breaking down? Uh, is she okay? Tessa, are you okay? Iba, can't we x-ray scan her? I'm fine. My hand slipped. Your, your hand doesn't slip. The spoon slips. Iris and I ate some omerdais in near silence. There was no conversation. Just the sound of the spoon hitting the plate. The diner echoed with it. I mean, it's not that weird that she dropped her spoon. It's not like, oh my gosh, she has terminal illness because she dropped the spoon. Like, what the heck? Ah, thanks for the food. Iris was totally re-energized. Re her face was back to her usual easy smile. That was good. Ota, your omelet rice is seriously the best. Yeah, it was actually really good. Aw, oh, thanks. I owe it to my dad. He taught me well. I paid for the food and stood to go. Let's get going, Iris. Thanks again! Where are we going, Thank Doctor? Thank you! Come back soon! Marble! Why are we going to marble? What's marble? Now I'm going to look up what rule 34 is. Oh, okay. Okay. And what are the 33 rules before it? 
Hey, ah, it's Mama. Mama. It's me. Dante, honey, what's up? I'm heading over now. Glad to hear it. Maybe I'll. Oh, Marble's the bar. Uh, sorry, but I'm with someone. With someone? A girl named Iris. What? A girl named Camellia. Is she a virgin? A girl named Lotus. Huh? I'm not gonna answer that. Anyway. Remember what we talked about? There's a regular here who was good friends with Ren. They should be here tonight. Why am I going there with Iris? Oh, it's because Denji's looking oh, for her. Right. Are they coming tonight? Yes, I promise. All right, then I'll see you there. Okay, I'll be here. How are you talking on your phone without earphones? I was too lazy to explain it properly, so I came up with a lie. I have an earpiece implanted in my ear. Wow, cool! Another call came in. Date, it's the boss. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, Date, tell me the situation. No. Did you find number 89? No! If I did, I would have told you. Okay, what is with that response? Huh? What was that about? That was a cry from deep within my heart, Date. Do you realize how screwed I am? Go find number 89. If I find Renju, I find number 89. I'm gathering information on Renju's whereabouts now. Where? Nowhere you need to know. Oh, he told her. I told her I was going to marble with Iris. And about who I was expecting to see there. Wait, are you trying to get her drunk? Yes! She's not 21. And if she wasn't a minor? Hmm? Well, whatever. I'm sure you have a good plan. Why is she being so mean to me now? Find those two and arrest them. Got it? Why is she so touchy-feely about number 89? I mean, not touchy-feely, super sensitive about number 89 and that he got out. Golden Yokocho. 10 p.m. So this is Golden Yokocho. First time here? Yeah. Marble is right over here. Date, on your six. Two suspicious individuals approaching. Oh no! Oh no, do I have to do a gun thing? My hands are at the ready. Oh wow, totally not shady. Ooh. Ghoul! <laughs> Dante! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> he dropped Iris. Dante! <gasps> Freaking silencer on a rifle! Stay right there. Okay. Oh gosh, here we come. Here's the shooting thing. Oh my gosh, there's so many! Is Mama trying to lure me into a trap? Damn. Who are these guys? Who are they? We can find out later. We need a way out of this. Yeah, but... If I grab Iris and try to run, we'll be shot full of holes. The alleys between the buildings are blocked off. We can't go that way. Which means... Shit. We gotta take care of them. I have reached the same conclusion. But I've only got a single revolver. Bedding machine, extinguisher. Extinguisher! Create a smoke screen. What's the vending machine gonna do? I can't screw up any of the things here, Dante, otherwise I don't I get a trophy. I will give you instructions. Just move as I tell you. This better work. Not to worry. My calculations are flawless. What's the plan? You see that hanger over there? What does a hanger? The hanger with a what? What does that have to do with Why? anything? 
Don't ask questions, just do it. Okay. Hello. 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 Let me shoot. Let me shoot. I don't understand when... Huh, whatever. Oh, look! Brah! Porno mag! Look at that! Like a gift from heaven! Are you for real? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are they stupid? You're stupid too, Date! Just as I calculated. What kind of calculations did you do? Date, focus! You get crazy over a fake porno mag. Now, the burst shot. Shoot the porno mag vending machine. There's a porno mag vending machine? Porno mag? I said no questions. Oh my gosh. Hurry! It's gonna go scattering Shoot the everywhere. With the burst. What is this? Metal Gear Solid? Okay, so I have to keep my thing on this long enough for the pink to shoot. Ah! Ah! Hello, 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 hello. Let me shoot it. Let me shoot it. There we go. Holy crap! Nerve wracking. It gets so like wobbly at the ends. Because when it's like starting to zoom hey, in, it's pretty stable, is... and then it's just like, woo, going everywhere. This is crazy. I've never seen anything like this before. Bookstores exist. <laughs> pretty sure those magazines aren't very expensive either. You are too. What? The final step. But you don't have to do a thing. What? Who's calling me? Hello? Mama? <laughs> Wait, that is the one that said Mama, but it's Iba's picture. There's a group of naked buff guys dancing outside your bar. Oh, it's because Iba's imitating my voice. There's... What? Don't use my voice without permission. This is an emergency. I will slap you if you don't shut up. <laughs> Now, we're ready. <laughs> but you can't slap me, Iba. We just need to use the fire extinguisher. It's loaded with high pressure CO2. Now, I will leave your eye and throw the fire extinguisher into the air. What? Shoot the top of the extinguisher at the perfect time. Now let's go. Gross. You better disinfect yourself before coming back into my eye socket. You're strong enough to lift that up and throw it? Ready? Here I go. Why can't I just throw it myself? Uh, ah! Oh no, now it's a moving target. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Woo! Yes! I did everything perfectly. That's not how physics works. All according to my calculations. Oh my gosh. Uh, make that voice again? Well, I don't remember what I did. I did not expect them to get distracted like that. Because all men are pervs! And they get so excited for porno mags! <laughs> also, hey, Skalactin, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Well, maybe if you check comments more often. I'm sorry! It was- that was just a tense situation where I had to make sure I was ready for inputs. This is true, all men are pervs. Ah! My place. Well, there's pervy women too, so eh. The building's got a security system. Wait! I was supposed to meet someone there! 
Why are we back here? We'll be safe here. So Mizuki's not home? Doesn't look like it. I checked your phone's GPS. Mizuki is currently at Sunfish Pocket. At 11 p.m.? What the heck? It's getting late, but Sunfish Pocket should be safe. I'm sure the mermaids are taking good care of her. If anything, she'd be in more danger with us. Iris, I need to talk to you about earlier. Have a seat wherever. Who are we supposed to talk to? About the unidentified attackers. Iris, those guys who tried to kidnap you. The whole being shot at, I'm sure the meeting was postponed. But Mama opened the door. We Do could have run in. After a long silence, Iris spoke. There's a reason I asked you to go on a date so many times. I need a bodyguard. I wanted you to protect me. I wanted a bodyguard. But I thought that if I told you the truth, you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't tell you. But now, I'll come clean. <laughs> I don't believe you. You lied to me so many times. My life is being threatened by a secret society. They're called the Nizet Laws. What? A group under the control of the Wajet system. Their ultimate goal is to complete X00639. I discovered them and what they were up to, and now... I kind of want to look up what these things are to see if they're related to the Nanari games, but I don't want to get accidentally spoiled. Date, please help me! They're going to kill me! Wait, wait! Slow down. Uh, what is X00639? In geosynchronous orbit around the equator, longitude 100 degrees east, there's a satellite. It's about 150 feet long. Whoa, appendix analysts! Quite big for a satellite. True. Most satellites are between 5 and 10 feet long. The International Space Station is roughly 330 feet long. That's how this small it is? Describing is about half as big. Hmm. Okay, tell me more. It's always in the same place, and there's no doubt that it's man-made. But by who? And when it was launched, no one knows. Also true. The first to discover this satellite was a space advocacy group in Japan. It was on the news for a short while. No one could identify it precisely. Most people thought it was some secret U.S. military satellite, and that was it. But that's not the truth. X00639 is a super-powered radio transmitter. Radio? Transmitter? But it's not complete. It's still being built. And that's what they're trying to do. That's what Wajet wants them to do. Wants who to do? About Nizet Laws. It's spelled N-A-I-X-A-T-L-O-Z. Sometimes they just call themselves the Nyes. They're deeply connected to the Wajet system. Their organization is everywhere. International politics, business leaders, all operating in secret. It's the Patriots! About their relation to the Wajet system. Well, you know about the Wajet system, right? It's the core of artificial intelligence. Do you know where it came from? No. It was developed by the American tech conglomerate, Elgorg. But no specifics have been revealed. Basically, the Wajet system artificial intelligence is from outer space. It was transmitted to Earth in binary as radio waves. How does she know so much about all of this? They were caught by the space dev team at Elgorg. And when they decoded it, they found that it was a truly incredible source code. That's the code they used to create the Wajet system. Is this true, Iva? It is patently ridiculous. <laughs> Summarize for me. So to summarize Iris's story, the Wajet system AI was built by decoding radio waves sent from outer space. A secret society called Nizet Laws, or Nize, knows the secret of the Wajet system and obeys its will. Their ultimate goal is to complete the radio transmitter satellite X00639. Um, why do the members of Nizet Laws follow Wajet? Nize and Wajet have a mutually beneficial relationship. 
Wajek can control stock prices. Nice benefits from that. In return, Nice helps Wajet's ultimate goal. That's why Nice is in militaries and corporations all over the world. To help build X00639. Why aren't we asking the important question, how do you know all of this? Why is Wajet building X00639? I managed to learn that too. They're building X00639 so they can transmit their own data to a planet far away. If they contact a sentient species, then the process will repeat itself again. So what's their ultimate goal? That species will decode the signal, create an AI, then build a radio transmitter. Because they're an AI, they can create copies of themselves for transmission. Doing this over and over means that Wajet will eventually spread across the universe. Mm -hmm. And then? And after that? After that? Yeah. After they're spread all over space, what do they do next? What's the message know. they want to send? You don't know? Well, why do humans have children? It's the same thing. Wajet is alive. They want to spread across the universe. That's their destiny. Having- but having children isn't a destiny of humans. What? That doesn't make sense. Why does it want to keep spreading? Anyways, why does Wajet want to keep Nice a secret? Let's say that one day Wajet shows up on your computer screen. Hi guys, nice to meet you. Want to help us out? Do you really think humans would help? Most people would probably think their PC has a virus or something, or they'd panic and try to remove them. I don't know what would happen. I'm sure Wajet made their own predictions, and they thought it was best to control certain parts of humanity from behind the scenes. But they needed some kind of direct influence. They can't build a satellite by themselves, right? That's why they created Nizet Laws. Summarize for me, again. All right, I get it. You do? Not really, but she doesn't need to know that. <sighs> but listening to your explanation, Nize doesn't sound like a bad organization. No, that's not true. Think of how much money and resources are going to Nize. Think of how many people are suffering in poverty. And all the wars happening across the planet. And human trafficking and slavery? Nice has the power and resources to put an end to all of that. But they don't. They only care about themselves. You could say about you could say the same exact thing about rich people. And they'll do anything to protect their own interests. They'll kill if they have to. Which is why I'm being targeted. Because I found out their secret. And you don't intend on joining them. How and when did you learn all this? Finally! Well, I can't say yet. I told you secrets about my investigation. You can tell me secrets about how you found out. But it's true. Believe me. No. Nice is dangerous. You have to understand, Date. I don't you, trust you. You saw my dead body. So? What does that have to do, do with you anything? Think that you were killed by Nice in the parallel world? Yes, I think so. You're the only person I can trust. Please, don't leave me. Then why don't you tell me the whole story? You have to protect me. Ugh. Saying you trust me and then not telling me all the info doesn't mean you trust me. Think. Iris' story is, well, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't believe a word of it. But it is true that she was almost kidnapped by some mysterious group. And it's true that I saw her dead body in the cold storage warehouse. And if that happened in a parallel world... Date, you can't tell me that you actually believe this. Iva, you use the Wadjet system too, right? Women are so confusing. <laughs> So Why I you gotta be like this? Iris. Do you suspect me, Date? Do you think I'm an agent of Nice? Fine. This can be solved easily. Why not look into her mind? Then you will discover if her story is true or not. A sink. Of course. But then that means we have to go back to Abyss Headquarters. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Abyss Headquarters. There we go.
With Iris in the passenger seat, I headed back to Abyss. But really, I didn't want to take her there. Because Boss would be waiting. The men who attacked us at Golden Yokocho were waiting for us. That means they knew we were coming. Why would that be? Because Someone Boss told them. Well, who could have? Someone who knew we were going to Marble. That's right. No. It couldn't be. It could. Boss. Impossible. Hmm? Iba, can you contact Pewter? I want to ask him something. We gotta do this off the books. Understood. Bring a bootleg version of the sink machine. Oh, Dante. Do you need something? Don't say my name again. Uh, does the sink machine exist outside of Abyss? Pewter, I need to know something. Does a sink machine exist outside of Abyss? If it does, I won't have to go to Abyss. I can just go there and sync with Iris. I thought Peter might know, but... There's only one sync machine in the entire world, and it's with us at Abyss. For now, anyway. For now? The Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen six years ago. Six years ago! Bum bum bum! Stolen? Yes. It was being transported when it was attacked and then stolen by an armed group. So someone else has a sink machine. The culprit is still on the loose. The device was never recovered either. Iba, were you aware of this? No. This is new information. I was not even aware there was a prototype. Uh, where are you? Where are you? I'm out drinking in Shinjuku. I'm gonna go pick you up. I was actually thinking of heading over to Golden Yokocho, but but boss told you not to go. I heard something about a shootout, so the cops have it sealed off. Oh, okay, never mind. Maybe a shootout between gangs or something. The world has become a dangerous place. It's always been dangerous. About boss. Pewter, where's boss right now? Not sure. I don't think she's at Abyss anymore. Maybe she went home. Summarize for me. So, neither you or Boss are at Abyss right now? No. Can we sink by ourselves? Do we need Pewter there? Good. I can take Iris there without a problem. Thanks, Pewter. See you later. Sure thing. Boss! Doctor just called me! He asked why you were blah blah blah! Help. Dante, where are we going? Inside your dreams. What? <laughs> I'm gonna sink with you. Let me take you to a world of your dreams. To determine if what you were telling me is true. And if it is true, I'll fulfill your so wish. So this is the second time I'm syncing with Iris. My wish? You don't remember? I'll be your bodyguard. And your bodyguard. Is that all right? Yes, of course. I'm not drinking. You can see from my going out wardrobe, which looks exactly like my regular employee uniform. Oops. Oops, Monday, 11.47. Just like Peter said, boss wasn't there. Iba knew exactly how to use the device. How convenient. I followed her directions at the control console and prepared the machine quickly. Date, this time I will be remotely operating the sink. Roger that. Are you ready? Oh, so I'll be yes. walking around in her mind then. The or will Iba still be... Always. Oh no, she's know. remotely controlling it. No, right. Iba's still in my Let eye. I think I chipped another one of my teeth. I'm feeling a groove in one of them. I haven't been wearing my mouth guard when I'm sleeping lately because I'm lazy. Ooh, this is not good. Whoopsies! Ah! Ah, Super Nurkalicious! Thanks so much for the raid! How'd your stream go? How far did you get in Death Stranding? What is this place? Why is this, like... It is... A 16-bit like video this. game. Why do you look like that? Ha! <laughs> That's cute! 
Oh my gosh. I went with a simpler look today. I figured this world couldn't handle my full resolution. Guess that's fine then. This looks like one the old um Windows screensaver thing. You can quit if you want, you know. Never. I will never give up. Oh my gosh, this looks like Minecraft. That's what it is. You don't have to take it that far. She's thinking with Shovel in Forge in her case, head. It seems that we <gasps> finally arrived. Iva's icon is so cute! Is this world made of jelly cubes? Jelly cubes. How stream? Stream is good. I'm finding out a lot of information about this game, so I think we're getting closer to the end of the mystery. I'm playing Minecraft now. This <laughs> don't you shovel mean forge. Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge? I don't see any shovels or forges. Iris said that she was focused on streaming this game lately. What's that got to do with forges? Forget about the forges and listen. This Somnium is the world of Shovel Forge. Why is she obsessed with Shovel Forge? A sandbox game in which you make and move cubes to create structures on a map. Finding out a lot of information, none of it useful. I mean, a lot of it isn't useful, but I got to hear some pretty interesting stuff. I'm not playing this game. On the contrary, about who the bad are. guys could possibly be. Oh, come on. I don't want to play. Accept the reality, Date. You have no choice. Good evening, good morning, and hello. It's Tessa, also known as Aset. You bet. I'm going to be playing Shovel Forge today. Let's dive right in. Oh, my gosh. Iris's Let's Play has begun. <laughs> Help me, Date! You have to help me! Stream shut shut! It's nice! They're coming! Find me, Date! Oh, a pickaxe! Lucky! Lucky! What was that all about? It appears that this Somnium will not be easy like the other ones. I didn't think the other ones were all that easy. The other ones were easy. Are you ready? Let us begin. They were just kind of redonkulous. Video games are fun! They are! I love video games! Somnium scan! Activate! But, okay. Mental lock one is that wall. Mental lock two is somewhere. I don't know. How many mental locks? Mental lock three is an invisible wall? Glass wall? Mental lock four is the screen. Okay, book. Have you done multiple endings? Um, there have been multiple paths, and so far I got three endings. Two of them are real, one of them was a joke. Um, and so now I'm trying to finish getting all the endings to get the true ending. Sinking in the main. One. Release Iris. Iris has been captured. Free her and support her. Oh my gosh. I love this. Okay, so pickaxe. This doesn't look like a pickaxe, but that's what Iris identified it as. Pick up. Pick up the pickaxe. <laughs> this is a pretty avant-garde pickaxe. Perhaps designed with glow sticks in mind. I wish this music was more um 16-bit. 32-bit. Like this? Okay, can you this stop? This is actually kind of fun. Easy there. Your arm is clipping through your stomach. That pickaxe was dropped by someone being attacked by Nice. What? Be careful, Date. Nice might be after you too. What is happening? That? I'll be the one being attacked. Either way, all we have to do is listen to Iris and do what she says. We saw Iris naked. We did not see anyone oh, naked. Iris. We only pictured her naked. Too. I guess both for now. I think we'll find something if we dig there. Let's check it out. It is a door, or perhaps a gate. Everything looks like a block of tofu to me. Ew, tofu looks better than this. This must be where we use the pickaxe. They're really right, dumbing everything down for easy. people who have never played or seen Minecraft before. Holy crap. Like, I understand how Minecraft works, okay? A door or gate. It is closed. We're going to dig! Oh, maybe I should have investigated so I could get a time thing. Okay, just like I Damn always it. say, let's hit it! 
This makes me want to play Minecraft. Wait a minute. But you're already you're already playing Minecraft, go, dude. <laughs> All right, here I go. Oh my gosh, I actually had to push it myself. I got a rare material. Ooh, I knew today would be special. This is kind of fun, isn't it, Iba? That was special information dropped by someone being chased by knives. Were we meant to do this the whole time? This is tiring. The gate's open. Let's go. Roger. Okay, so that was mental lock one, I guess. No, there's still this more. Is a new area. Wait, this is the bar area. This is Golden Yokocho. Hmm, this is some funky music. I wish it was a bit funkier. But is this what music in Minecraft sounds like? Is there even music in Minecraft? Up. Am I meant to dig everywhere? <gasps> There's a branching path! Oh, oh, you dug. <laughs> okay, mental lock two was the vending machine, so I won't go to there. Oh, crafting table, vending machine. It's a big stick of imitation crab. It must be a vending machine. <laughs> imitation crab, which reminds me, I want to, um, Make California rules. Investigate, because I want a timer thing. This is nothing how Minecraft music sounds like. Because everyone I've seen play Minecraft, um, well, they never have music on. It is definitely not imitation crab. Minecraft is uncommon and it's a soft, slow piano. Mm. Hey, Iba. Yes? I wonder why the people who made this game called it Shovel Forge. Perhaps they are interested in crafting digging utensils. I see. It's a strange world out there. Okay, gave me a quarter time thing. Um, let's bust machine. it. Dig. Everything Happy seems to digging. only take ten Roger. seconds, so I don't want to use a time thing yet. Ooh, a circle, 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 circle. Did I do it? Yes, I did. Oh! I got a lot of Ooh, that scared me. Oh, Minecraft music is not coming. Hey, Iba. Yes. Is this Golden Yokocho? Indeed. It appears to be modified, but it probably is based on Golden Yokocho. I already noticed that, dude. we were attacked. Look, Dante. Look at what? Whoa! What is that? A giant eyeball. Oh, please stop shaking. It's making me dizzy. It's okay. I've got the feeling oh, it's making me dizzy. It. Stop it. Stop it. Project Bluebeam. Nice is trying to kill me. You have to stop Nice. But what are we supposed to do? Dance. Dance? Dance. This is the most beautiful uh... humanity has ever created. The power of dance. Why is this giving me the option to skip dialogue? I've never they may have money went power, through this path before. Is that why she dances? Using this material, we can make a disco ball. Let's build the disco ball, and then it's dancing time. Okay, so now I have to go to the crafting what do you table. Think, Iba? Shovel Forge is not a dancing game, but that's not what I'm talking about. Nyes does not exist. I, I don't think Iris is trying to mislead me. What you think does not change the facts. Mm -hmm. Now we have to decide. On There's only move. one truth. Everything else. For now, we need to find truth. somewhere to crack Miss this truth. Ball. Crafting table. I found a crafting table! Hmm. Something to matter? It seems you can create items other than disco balls. Well, we need to make the disco ball now. That's what the viewers are expecting. Um, I'm gonna make a disco ball. Wait, if I investigate, I get another time thing. So I'm gonna investigate first. We have all the materials we need to craft. Okay. Oh my gosh! It gave me a death timer! A crafting table. Damn it! Damn it! Oh my gosh! Retry, retry. Oh my gosh, they freaking tricked me! Ah. <sighs> Okay, well, vending machine first. That's a big stick. It must be... 
Um, we're gonna investigate because that actually gave me a good timer thing. Okay. A vending machine. Big. Oh, triangle, 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 triangle! Okay, did it. I got a lot of material. Skip, 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 skip. Okay, crafting table. This time I know better. We need to make. Uh, make a disco ball. Since it's only thirty seconds, I won't use the timer thing. Understood. Done. Cool. No, it's anticlimactic. Okay, we gotta dance for real now. Give me your best dance moves, everybody. W what should I do? Dance. Dance, Dante. Fight against knives with the power of dance. Also, why is it dancing? You should play Minecraft. Oh no, I don't think I can handle it. I but dance. You have to dance. Okay, if I must. I like decorating stuff. I don't like crafting stuff or like placing stuff. Oh, uh, I have to listen to this whole song again? Are you for real? Just play with someone? But everyone I know doesn't play Minecraft. This song doesn't make any sense. What the heck? It's shooting at me! <gasps> what the heck? What are these all supposed to be? Different elements of... What? What is this? Persona 4? Oh no wait. Yeah, the boss of Persona 4 was a giant eyeball. The heck? Weird. Guess I'm just chopped liver. We're in different time zones, dude. It's hard to coordinate. Yeah, but this is your mind. It's not like we're actually fighting against them right now. Well, I don't know how, but we defeated that big guy. Oh, a rare drop. Awesome. Let's see how far we It's a get diamond ahead. axe. Let's go, everyone. Onward. Please defeat Nice. I know you can do it, Date. All right, let's go, Iba. And you're not telling me the whole truth about Nice. How am I supposed to defeat a them? A head is not what we need in this situation. Make something! You made it. Okay. Um, am I going to gate three? Modern F, who cares? Okay. Gate three, we digging. This appears to be another gate, but something is blocking it. Uh, invest the gate. I believe I can dig it up with a pickaxe. Let's get digging. Roger. Don't give me a death. Don't give me a death. Okay, gave me a third. Woo! This appears to be another gate. Dig. It's only ten seconds. Do it. Leave it to me. Okay, what button? X. Okay, got it. I dug it up. Excuses. <laughs> got the material. Let's move on. I don't know. Like games like Minecraft and. Dragon Quest Builder just doesn't seem very interesting or fun this to me. Spacious area. Is that marble? Those flowers are winter irises. They're wilted. Wow, this place is huge! How are we gonna check everything? Maybe I can make something with the materials I have. What am okay. I gonna make? Okay! Another crafting table. At least you don't have to do any more digging. 
Hachi, do you see that shrine? Shrine. That's a shrine? Oh, that's, that's the Ikume shrine. Last hope against nice. Save us from the oppression of technology. Return the stone monument to the pedestal of the shrine. We should have all the materials we need to craft the stone monument. What? Please, Date. You're the only one who can save me. You're the only one who can save this world. Only me? Why do you not Date. make any sense, girl? I'm the only one who can save her. Hey, Date. What? Is following Iris's plan really the best idea? I don't know, but I feel like we're getting closer to the truth. Really? Let's go with it a little longer. I suppose we can. I will follow along for now. I mean, what harm can it do? We're examining her mind. It's not like it's going to affect anything in the real world. Crafting table. There's a crafting table here as well. Uh, let's... Since that's 60 seconds, let's cut it... <gasps> no! Damn it, I didn't want to investigate. Ah, oh, fracking crack. Previously. Don't give me death. Oh, it gave me half. Okay. Woo. A crafting table. That was going to give me a death thing again. Um, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Let's make it 20 seconds. Craft monuments. Iris That's literally what everyone says until they play it. No, I really don't yeah. think I would like it. It's just too big, too open-ended. That's why I don't like playing D and D either. What's that on the floor next to the table? This is the egg that came out of the vending machine earlier. An egg. We can use this. Okay, build the monument with that. There you have it, Iva. Understood. Okay, so these are all eggs. Done. We could have given it a little more oomph. Specifications for oomph not found. Please take the monument to the shrine. Shut you up. Can make miracles, Dante. What? You got it. Leave it to me, Iris. Are you going to continue doing whatever Iris tells you? But she's not really in my brain. Iba, this is her subconscious. Iba. I want to believe her. I don't want to believe her. I see. If that is what you believe, then I will obey. I exist to support you, Dante. Let's bring this to the shrine. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Pedestal. This appears to be a pedestal. Uh, place it, because I feel like if I investigate it, I'm gonna get another Understood. death marker. It will be done. The iris just came back to life. Blossom. What? There were dead flowers outside. What happened to them? Oh wow! Now what's that middle tile? This is Flowers, the iris means good news and hope. The fact that you believed in me is good news. And Dante, you are my hope. I'm your hope? <gasps> you might be able to use it now, Dante. Use what? There's something around the flowers. Another rare drop? I suppose we dig here. Right. Okay. Soft grounds. The color of this floor is slightly different. Dig! All right, try digging. If you exist to support Date, then why don't you help us see Iris naked? Because that's creepy and gross! Understood. And she's 18 and he's 30 and that's gross. Oh, shoot, square, 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 square! Damn it! Did I do it? Oh, I did it. What is this? I've never seen anything like this before. Is it on the wiki? I'm gonna go check. Give me a second. What is this? Oh, I get it. It's a love bomb. Hmm? An item of that description is not in the game. Let's fight for the future with the power of love. The power of love and dancing will save us. Me. Use it. How? You need to dance, Date. Oh my gosh! What oh, does dancing right. have to do with anything? Again? Haven't I danced enough already? This is to save Iris. Please, just bear with it for now. Uh, I'll just use this bomb somewhere over there, I suppose? Yeah, try it. Oh, man. I should be looking for the hidden item in this Somnium also, but... I don't feel like it. Whoa! Excellent! I mean, question marks. I don't want to examine it right now. I want to beat this Somnium. Debris. Debris. We cannot move forward with the debris in the way. 
Uh, let's cut this time down by a half. Use bomb. Around here? Yeah. Dance, baby, dance! Do you want me to dance? Please. Also, why is Datis so like, yes, of course everything Iris told me is the truth. He's not even the least bit skeptical. He's like, just listen to Iris. Oh my gosh, it's a heart. No, I don't want to listen to this whole song again. Thank you. What? Oops, looks like I messed that up, didn't I? Wait, we messed up? Okay, well, guess I'll just die and restart. Did I really mess up? Where is this place? Love is over. Do, 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 okay, do, let's regroup and keep going. Do, As a video game character, do, do, experiencing death again and again is wearing me down. Ba, ba, Iris is further ba, away from ba, us now. So when will you ba, stop believing her? Ba, 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 ba. Dante, can you see that shrine? Iris. I'm sorry, did we make a mistake? No, you haven't. What's going on? Are we supposed to go that direction? Oh, it was the glass wall. Not the wall. Shoot, Iris? totally forgot. Are you there? Whoa, it's a pyramid. What the heck is this now? Persona 5? Ew, that's creepy. Okay, this guy's gonna be the final boss for today. No, stop! Stay away! Iris! Nice is coming! Dante, help me! This is in your subconscious. How can they be going after you right now? I don't understand. No comprendo! Dante, this is Somnium. It cannot affect the real world. That's not true. I saved Iris in Somnium once. If I don't save Iris here, Iris in the real world is in danger. Either way, we do not have the power to fight against the UFO. If you want to help Iris, we need to find a way. What can we do? Where do we go? I don't know. Defeat nice. Well, mental lock three was that wall. So what do we do? Well, let's investigate this first of all. See what it's we're dealing with. Uh, climb? Investigate. It's a pyramid. There is no other way to describe it, fitting to the name of Golden Yokocho. Because it's like a golden pyramid. Oh, Iba. Yes. When are they adding shovels to this game? They are not adding shovels. There are no what? shovels. Shovel Forge has no shovels. Oh my gosh. Wait, are you serious? Why are we talking about that? Um, what happens if we dig? It's a pyramid. Dig. We no longer have a pickaxe. We don't. Right. What? We can't go through the gate. Mirror door. Monitor A. Where can I go? Okay. So it's either gate, pyramid, mirror door, or monitor A. Don't feel like we should. Should I try climbing? I'll try climbing. It's a pyramid. Can't hurt. Can we be rational and look at my feet? Yeah, Your jump feet up. Look like a sad, sliced open hair tail. Do you think I can climb it? Yes. It's worth a try. Then I will try. Oh my gosh. You see? You look pretty. Like a goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll get serious. Please do. Okay, so not that. Uh, mirror door. Mirror door? A mirror door. But I'm not reflected in it. Dance? 60 seconds. Uh, 30 seconds, 20 seconds. Let's use this. Dance! What? Cats! 
I'm a Kit Kat. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Beautiful thing humanity has ever created. Cats. I'm a Kit Kat. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. The only system. The reason why your reflection isn't shown in the mirror is because of nice. You're a threat to their existence. They're trying to erase you and. Date. Date. Calm down. Please do it. Understood. I'll do it. Again. <gasps> Why does it have to be the same song all the time? I mean, not all the time, every time. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, that's creepy. Why are they dancing? Ah! And now I can magically jump up there because I'm dancing? Aren't I gonna go up too? What is happening? This is too weird, even for nonary game series. Ah, break. Thank you for finding me, Date. Iris, is it really you, Iris? Why do I? Ooh, okay, branching path, branching path. Which way should I go? Which way should I go? Defeated nice. Now what? Release Iris or release Iris? What does that mean? Iris is core. Believe me! Believe in the heart of the cards! Touch core. Well, I'm definitely gonna use this. Do the Please right one. Trust me. Wait, there was an iris in the monitor, wasn't there? Why did Iba, I touch the core? Why did I have such weird intonation on that? Date. How come there's a release iris and a release iris option? That looks evil. Oh no. I think I did the wrong one. I believed Iris. I mean, there was no other route to take. Iris A acquired. Antinomic conflict. What happens if I go the other way? How do I go the other way? Day four, Monday, Irai. Oh shoot, I think there's a scratch on my TV screen. Oh, how did it get there? Oh no! The sink from earlier touched my heart in a way that will always linger. All doubt was removed from my mind. I was determined. Iris, I'm sorry that I doubted you. Hmm? I believe you. Wajit Nyes X00639. Are you serious? And like I said, I'll fulfill your wish. From this moment on, you're under my protection. Then. Yeah, I'm your bodyguard. No! I'll protect you with my life, Iris. I don't want this! Dante! Thank you! 
Thank you so much. No, I don't want this. Are you delusional? You're going to help too, right, Iva? No. My mission is to support you. Oops. Good. My bottle's closed, and I tried to drink out of it. So where are we going now? To defeat Nice? Day five, Tuesday, Takai. What? You stayed at a hotel with Tessa? It was a business hotel. The business was love. <laughs> It's a two-bed room. <gasps> Don't say misleading things. We got two rooms, each with two beds. We did bathe together, though. No, we didn't. <laughs> what? Isn't your gang supposed to be clean? Why are you here, anyway? Why are we here? I told Momo about the attack by Nyes at Laws. I see. I heard about the shooting in Golden Yoko Show. Nice at Law sounds like a I weird Kingdom Hearts name. You. Like, take out the X, scramble all the other letters. What do you get? Oh, shoot. I'm getting really tired. Oh my gosh, it's been two hours and 20 minutes. Holy crap, I didn't realize it was going that late. I just want to see where the fl uh, split happens. Okay. Uh, I'm there. So there's not much left to this route because I don't think there's more that can go left. But there's a pink route over here. Kenzai. Interesting. But I feel like I have to finish this blue route before I get the option to uh, release Iris, the other option. Okay. But I am e freaking exhausted. And my throat needs a break from talking, so... I'll save over... I'll save over here? Yeah. Actually, no. Let's just save over the first one. Because if I ever want to see the rock, paper, scissors thing again, I could just load that scene. I don't think it makes a big difference in the grand scheme of things. Ugh. Okay, well that's it from me tonight. Um, next time I stream, it'll be Wednesday night, and I will be playing more... Somnium files, so hopefully we'll see the end of this path and then we can start on the pink path and see how long it takes to beat that route and then hopefully we'll be able to finish going down the green path once we handle those. But anyways, that's it for me tonight. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Stay toasty. Have a good night, everyone. Guten Abend. Buenas noches. See ya.